While the possibility of a nuclear missile being launched is still slim, a new, much greater threat has just emerged. During the Cold War, Russia manufactured over a hundred nuclear warheads housed in briefcases. Today, over half of them are missing. Russian strategic missiles have the range to hit America or Europe. Tactical missiles are for local battles. The Russians have another nuclear device, which is potentially more dangerous than any tactical or strategic weapon. The suitcase bomb. Easy to move, easy to operate, but hard to identify. They can be detonated anywhere. This man was Boris Yeltsin's science advisor. After becoming a key player in Russia's nuclear policy, he recently discovered the existence of the suitcase bomb. His name is Alexei Yablokov. From briefings given by Alexei Yablokov, we were able to build a model of the suitcase bomb. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary attaché case. Inside, it contains a timer wired up to a miniature nuclear warhead. The warhead consists of a plutonium core surrounded by explosives, which produce an extreme increase in pressure, precipitating a nuclear explosion. The system is activated by a key and can be set to detonate from anything from under an hour to several days. Enough time for whoever planted it to clear the vicinity. Мощность такого маленького ядерного заряда около килотона, одной килотона. Это очень много. Это значит тысячи тонн обычных взрывчат. The bomb was designed to destroy key parts of the enemy's infrastructure, such as entire bridges or airports. But one kiloton, a sixteenth of the power of the Hiroshima bomb, could have a devastating effect on a city. Весь британский парламент превратился в пыль. Вокруг, если это будет взорван на Пикадили, то, наверное, километр вокруг Пикадили будет одни развалины, ничего там не будет больше. The blast would flatten almost all buildings within a 500 meter radius of Piccadilly, immediately killing up to 20,000 people. There would be further destruction and approximately 50% fatalities up to at least a kilometer radius. Within hours, the prevailing wind would carry the nuclear fallout as far as the M25. The whole of London would have to be evacuated. Congressman Kurt Weldon is heading a public inquiry into the danger posed by the suitcase bomb. You'd have a massive loss of life, you'd have massive radioactive contamination, and you'd have massive havoc, unlike any that we've prepared for in the past. I would argue that the potential for a small atomic demunition device is even greater than the possibility of an accidental launch of a long-range ICBM. The launch of intercontinental ballistic missiles is supposed to be governed by security codes. In contrast, suitcase bombs require no such codes. Ведь не президент решает, где, в какую минуту, в каком месте взорвать эту бомбу. Получается, что тактическое ядерное оружие находится под меньшим контролем, чем стратегическое оружие. Мощность его много меньше тактического, но контроль тоже много слабее. Midnight for a rendezvous in Moscow. Among the many military people privately voicing their concerns about the security of nuclear weapons is an officer directly responsible for weapons storage. Since he's serving in the army, it was necessary to conceal his identity. In 1996, Sergei, as he chooses to be called,
tried to make his own storage sites more secure. He said his job was to account for a 132 as the chief advisor for defense to Boris Yeltsin. He said he could only find 48. We were startled. We said, General, what do you mean you can only find 48? He said, that's all we could locate. We don't know what the status of the other devices were. We just could not locate them. Leopard was promptly sacked from government after just 122 days. He's now left Moscow for Krasnoyorsk, a huge province in Siberia where he's recently been elected mayor.